that is right guys i have found a hydro body indian biryani house right here in florida in america guys a biryani house there is no way that i was gonna drive past this place and not come and check it out so let's get our butts in there right now and check it out let's check it out inside the hyderabad biryani house oh my god i'm liking it check this out guys you feel like you're in hyderabad right away oh man i'm loving the decoration here this is your menu thank you so much can i start you off some water uh yeah sure i have yeah. a cup of water please yes check out the menu guys at the hyderabad biryani house i'm assuming well look you have a little bit of everything here but you don't come to a biryani house and not look for biryanis oh there it is check it out chicken dum biryani you have a mutton biryani you got a pulao you have a karachi biryani oh man many different biryanis here egg biryani all right look at a friday special mutton tahari biryani oh my goodness Look, you can even just order biryani rice. Oh my god. Guys, I am loving the Indian food scene in Tampa so, so much. I'm gonna have one of each biryani, please. One of each? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Have you tried the biryanis here? Yeah. Do you They're, like them? I like them. They're one of the like most bought, most frequently bought things. But they're a spicy dish. Like automatically, when as soon as they come out, they're spicy. So like mild is spicy and hot is like burn your tongue hot. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Make it for me like if you're making it for an Indian person here. So super hot. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. No problem. Check it out guys. The biryani is here. This is the mutton. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys have mutton with bone? Yep. And then this is the chicken, which also has bones in it. Perfect. If it doesn't have bone, the taste is not the same. <laughs> right. The bone gives so much taste. Yep, that's where all the flavor is at. Some right on the side. Go. All right. Very nice. And it's then the rest should be out shortly, okay? All right. Awesome. I'm going to start with these in the meantime. Thank okay, you so much. No Danyabad. <laughs> Check out what we're playing on the screen, guys. It's me in Hyderabad at Paradise. But we all know that the king in Hyderabad is Bawarchi at RTC Crossroads. And right here at this restaurant, check it out. You, you feel like you're in Hyderabad itself. And these biryanis look amazing. They look like nothing that I've ever seen before in Tampa. Look, you have delicious crispy onions. They look like they've been cooked to perfection. A beautiful egg here on the top. And check out the mutton pieces. You know how hard it is to get mutton with bone in America? This is something, wow, look how it just fell out the bone right there. I didn't even, oh my God. This is just looking phenomenal. You got some onions on the side. Look at the chicken biryani. Look at this generous portion. This is, how much do these go for? The mutton is $14.99 and the chicken is 12 bucks and you get a nice mammoth sized portion of biryani. So this one is the mutton and this that is, one is the vegetable. So this is the Karachi. Right. Yeah. The Karachi mutton biryani. Have a look at the different colors guys. You see those rices right off the back? We're having different biryanis here. And this guy right here is? The vegetable kirachi. The vegetable kirachi, whoa. That looks phenomenal. I, I can't wait, I can't wait. <laughs> Danyabad, ladies, Danyabad. What can I say, guys? Some people like to do wine and cheese tastings. I like to do biryani tastings. So we're not gonna waste any more time here. We're gonna go right here, this little piece from earlier that just fell off the bone. Gonna put that bad boy right here. You're gonna get to the bottom of this rice. Look at that, look at that. You're gonna get some more butt muts in here. Let's get a nice onion. Man, this biryani is looking like something I haven't seen before here in America. This is looking like the real deal biryani. Check it out guys, the chef, what can I say? Christmas came extremely early guys. It's only January right now. Now I'm gonna dig into this. Let's touch our food. Let's connect more with it. Have a look at that. Look at these rices. Oh my God. Very aromatic. I'm loving the smells I'm getting so much. Let's go in for that bite. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That is some good biryani right here. Oh man. A perfect blend of spiciness. I'm loving it. Let's go for another bite. Hmm. Oh man. My brother, you guys are making some good biryani here. Is it? Okay. Who came up with this recipe? My wife. Your wife came up with the recipe. She came up with the recipe. I mean, she used to cook a small scale, but when she when we went for this, we spent 20 goats just for training purpose. Whoa. Before we came up with this recipe to make it big size in US because we don't have the kind of, you know, the the stoves that we have back home in India where we just put wood and light it up. Right. So it's different. Yeah. To put it on a different uh, environment totally we spent i know we spent 20 goats we brought 20 you know, back, yeah. like uh, over a period of two and a half three weeks 20 we goats just practicing just perfecting practicing. your recipe god forgive us you know we tried it we burned so many goats we we got so much trash out just because we were trying and then eventually we came up with this boom now boom. it's our and know. now you have a hyderabad biryani house yeah. So you guys make a lot of biryani every day, like yes, some huge, huge pots back there full we, of biryani. We make, we make one day of uh, chicken, dim, chicken dum biryani and half a day of mutton dum biryani every day on a normal weekday. And uh, that serves about 50 portions in mutton and 100 portions in chicken. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that, that's our kind of, you know, sale. And uh, on the weekends, we do two to three times of that two to three times so so we make two to three hundred portions of chicken biryani and about a buck fifty yeah. of mutton biryani yeah about 125 mutton biryani so i'm guessing the hottest seller here is biryani yes they are very nice very nice it's different you know normally um indian restaurants in america the top seller is butter chicken or chicken tikka masala but you guys are specializing in the biryani so much that this perfection over here it's the hottest seller. God, God bless us, you know. It's uh, probably everybody tries to do it, and everybody does it also. But God has just blessed us. All right. God, God blesses whoever He wills. You know, tries whoever He He wills. So. Amen, brother. God bless biryani. <laughs> Let's try out this mutton. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness, this is so soft. Look at look at the tenderness. Look at this meat, guys. They're not playing around here. Bone, I love bone on my mutton. <laughs> it's not fair. This is not fair. Look at this huge onion. Mm. Let's grab some of the crispy onions here. Let's get a bite with the crispy onions. And oh my god, this piece of mutton is just calling me with this big fat bone right there. Onto my plate you go. And so does the little egg. Now let's do it guys. We have a raw onion. We have crispy onions here. We have some of this beautiful biryani basmati rice. Mm-hmm. Oh man. That delicious bone marrow, oh my god. And this beautiful egg. <laughs> Next up guys, check out the chicken biryani here. Let's get this big piece of chicken right here, wow. You get served a royal portion. Let's go to the bottom of this pile and collect this rice. Let's get some from right here on the side. Bam, just like that. Some crispy onions. A few crispy onions there. Put those bad boys there. Sometimes food coloring is added to biryanis to give these beautiful colors. In this case, I don't think none of it was added. I think this is just purely delicious masala there that gave this biryani these beautiful colors because the smells the smells that this biryani is giving just have me in heaven 
the chicken biryani. Let's have a bite. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at all that masala on that chicken, man. Let's just scratch some of this off. Oh Lord. Oh my God. Everything is so good. good. You are so lucky to work here and have these biryanis here. This is amazing biryani. Oh my goodness. The biryani gods themselves have come to this restaurant and blessed it, man. They are making delicious stuff here. We heard the story. The owner's wife and the owner, basically they wanted authentic Hyderabad biryani. Not many people were making it. They decided to make it here the original way. You know, I can't go in the kitchen. Normally, I like to take you guys in the kitchen. However, it's a secret way they have stuff set up back there. They're cooking it. It's just, they're the only ones doing it. And they want to keep it a secret here. Because, and rightfully so. This biryani tastes like nothing that I've tasted so far in the Tampa area. One of my favorites in Florida. Am I the only one that likes to just suck on the bone sometimes? So much flavor in that. That's why you need to make biryani with bones. Look at all this delicious meat right here. All this chicken. Look at that masala right there on the bone. So far we tasted the chicken Hyderabadi biryani and the mutton Hyderabadi biryani. And even though it's almost the same dish, the different properties that the meats have make them completely different dishes. Basically, you cook everything the same, same ingredients, everything should be the same, but the juices that these proteins release once they're cooked dumb style, just have these biryanis going different ways and they're completely separate dishes. In my opinion, I love me some mutton biryani, but this chicken biryani right here, man, this is kicking major butt. This is 50 times better than Paradise Biryani and is right there challenging Bawarchi's Biryani on RTC Crossroad. It is very close to it. It is something delicious. Next up guys, this is the Kima Biryani that they make over here. Completely different dish. You can see different colors over here as opposed to our Hyderabad Biryanis. Basically it's minced meat over here. And I think this might be a first for me. I don't think I ever had any biryani with minced meat. I've had so many that I might've forgotten, but off the top of my head, nothing that can remember. Oh man, look at the bottom of this dish. Look at this masala. Oh my God. Oh, I'm glad I found this. My friend, you make biryanis delicious, but if you bite into this guy right here, man, you're not gonna like it. Let's get some of these onions over here. And you know what? Let's get this right here. Look at look at all the minced meat right there. Look at the onions. There you have some green peas there. Completely different biryani. And that's why I won't ever get tired of eating biryani because it's always different. It is always different. Look at this. I get little sliced eggs here. They gave me some lemon wedges. Just touching it, it feels different already. Have a look at the minced meat. Get a nice little beautiful sexy looking mountain right there. That's gonna be my bite right there. Have a look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh man. I like minced meat. You know my mom used to prepare minced meat. She'll put that in arepas or empanadas. So I'm very used to minced meat. I haven't had that in a while. Definitely never had a minced meat biryani. I must say, I like the Kima biryani. So it's good to try new things. So I came with this lemon wedge. I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon here, some lemon juice on my biryani. I'm gonna get a nice bite right here. You, you, my friend, get away. Let's try with the lemon juice.
It's a citrus bite. Obviously, Carlos, of course, it's gonna be citrusy. However, it gives it a little bit of a lemonade feel to it, like a little tropicalness to this biryani. And I'm liking it, man. New things today, new things. Lemon juice on my biryani and a kima biryani. Ladies and gentlemen, next stepping up to the ring. Weighing in at roughly 2.5 pounds is the Karachi Mutton Biryani. With this beautiful bone sticking out, I'm going to grab that right now. I'm not even going to wait to serve myself. I'm just going to bite into this beautiful piece of bone right here. Hmm. Everything is darn good. Yeah, what's your favorite? The Hyderabad Mutton Biryani so far. Really? Just the regular one? Yeah, the Hyderabad yeah. Mutton Biryani. That is the king right now. But I just had this piece of mutton mm -hmm. from the Karachi Biryani. And I must say, he came to play as well. Really? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he's is not going out like a punk. He is he's bringing <laughs> some taste to the, to the party. Is mutton like your favorite? Like, what type of meat do you like? Or prefer more on my biryani i love mutton really but with bone yeah but it's just really hard to get this here in the states mm -hmm. you usually get the boneless mutton like i'm so surprised to see us here and i'm yeah i'm beyond excited for it could you guys see me i see you let's grab this right here oh man all the biryani lovers must be like carlos i hate you right now no i'm here to motivate you guys to Go to your local eatery and support them and make your bellies happy. It's time to sample this Karachi biryani. They're making a Pakistani style biryani here, man. Oh boy. Different smell. I like it. <laughs> that is some good stuff right there. Let's try rice with the meat. Man. Guys, did I say I love meat with bones? If there was a heaven after biryani heaven, that's where I'm at right now. I am just feeling like a king right now. Now, I'm gonna say. Special delivery. Oh my God, guys. One of my favorites. Thank you so much. The mango lassi. Oh, it looks thick and creamy. I'm loving it. Thank you. Shukriya. Now, guys, that Karachi biryani, it's packing some heat on it. It's a bit on the hot side. So if you're ever afraid of biryanis, just get some raita. This stuff has some dairy in it. Dairy basically acts as a base because of the calcium and it calms things down. That's exactly what it does. We're talking chemistry right now. So let's serve, what you wanna do is you wanna get that right to just mix it up there with your rice, make your little mountain, and then go for that refreshing, cooling bite. <laughs> and the effect is instant. As soon as that right to touches your mouth, it calms things down right away. It kind of resets the palate. Let's you take a break from the biryani, pretty much. Calm things down, have your little break, and then go in for another delicious bite. Um, I must say, that Karachi biryani is bringing some heat. It's a hot boy. I love that. What I love even more is to have one, and then have some of this, guys. This is a mango lassi right here. And it gets the job done. It'll calm things down as well with a tasty flavor. Let's try it. That is good, delicious and creamy. Next up guys, we have the Hyderabad Veg Biryani, AKA the Pulao. I'm gonna go right ahead and grab this aloo. I love me some aloo. Let's grab the cauliflower, some rice. Let's get some of these tomatoes, these long beans, some green beans. Look, you even have the crispy onions, man. They don't play around. The owner's wife perfected her craft here with the biryani. Let's try the veg biryani. Let's try with the cauliflower first. Okay, okay. 
It's a good bite. Definitely not the same as having some chicken there or even mutton to just give it that difference in flavor. It's a great option if you're vegetarian. That way you can still have some biryani rice, but with vegetables. Now check it out guys. We have a potato. Let's have the potato bite, man. I love me some aloo. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. I'm so happy right now. I already know what I'm doing my next birthday. Biryani party. Now, this is gonna be one of the best parts of the video now. We're gonna rank all of the biryanis that we've had. Now, my number one, guys, should not come to a surprise. It is gonna be the mutton Hyderabad biryani. Coming in at second place, the chicken Hyderabad biryani. Coming in in third place is gonna be this Karachi mutton biryani. This is good, very hot but delicious i love that hotness coming in in fourth is going to be the kima biryani and then proudly standing on fifth place is going to be our veg biryani or the veg pala whatever you want to call it now i'm going to create my own little biryani over here check it out guys i'm going to grab a piece of the mutton here from the hyderabad biryani i'm going to grab some of this rice here right from the center oh this is going to be like the bite right here the pinnacle of all the bites i'm gonna grab some onion i'm gonna take this egg over here and i'm gonna grab the almighty aloo those guys that know me you guys know what i'm about to do shout out to kolkata for introducing me to potatoes in my biryani i freaking love it i'm gonna mash this potato up just like that this is how i like to do it Kind of just make like a quick, a very quick mashed potato. Just something like that, very light. Gonna mix some rice with that, blend that in just like that. And we're gonna go for that all delicious bite. Now playing on the screen is one of my all-time favorite vlogs guys this is the one in Darjeeling when I was walking around the school and I stumbled onto this amazing family that brought me into their home we shared great moments tried some delicious food I explored all around their home they have a huge water tank this was in Darjeeling man shout out to that family amazing people amazing people in Darjeeling amazing people all over India that bite with the bone mutton the rice the egg and the mashed potato there with the onion was beyond phenomenal guys that was simply amazing sent all my taste buds straight to heaven on a first class flight now check it out they have this thumb here and they make things so authentic and good here that i'm gonna have to try it normally i don't like to mix too many things up with my biryani i usually avoid the right and everything unless it's really hot but here in this place, man, the food is so good, so authentic that I'm inclined to give this a go with some of this rice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It has a peanut taste. Yeah, it has a peanut taste and I like it. I need a tow truck to pick me up and take me out of here, guys. I am stuffed. I'm stuffed with delicious biryani and check out the best part there is no sad part here I'm not out of biryani matter of fact I have so much biryani left here this stuff is gonna be delicious tomorrow maybe I have a midnight snack tonight but tomorrow and even after tomorrow I'll probably still have some biryani so I'm gonna be munching biryani for a long time next up we're gonna wrap things up with this kuro kakir this is something extremely rare you're not gonna find this in many places and we're lucky to have it here guys this is an authentic hyderabad dessert even in hyderabad it is tough to find it just because the preparation for it is so tough i feel blessed that i get to have it oh man it is thick 
It is thick here. Oh boy. Look at that. Let's go for a full bite. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh man. My taste buds went straight past heaven, man. Whoa. That happened too fast. This is so good. Mmm. Thick and creamy, man. Tastes like, I don't know, like the most tastiest, sweetest rice pudding ever. But it's not overly sweet that, you know, like after two bites, you're just like, oh, I'm done. It's too much. No, this is, this is just perfect, man. The perfect creaminess, but not too creamy that is overly thick. Just creamy enough. Pretty much is the viscosity. It has a perfect viscosity. I can kind of do this all day like that. Man, what a beautiful dessert. I love it. This is a 10. This is one of the best Indian desserts I've ever had. I'm simply in love with this. What a place. I am going to miss this place so much, guys. This is right here on Fowler Avenue Street Boulevard, whatever it is. Fowler, look it up. It's a huge street. It's really close to Bush Gardens and the University of South Florida. It's basically Little India Street here in Tampa. There's like about eight or ten restaurants, Indian restaurants in the area. But these guys right here, the Hyderabad Biryani House, they live up to the name, guys. They specialize in biryani. They have perfected biryani. They are making some of the, the, the most delicious biryani that I've had in florida this place is definitely on my top list guys i'm gonna leave everything down in the description if you want to come check it out i highly recommend it you guys already saw my favorites guys there's no need for me to tell you you just need to get over here and i'm so stuffed with biryani but let's check it out i have i have biryani for days guys i hope you like this video i hope it made you hungry and well this place right here is gonna hold a spot in my heart i love it hyderabad biryani house delicious catch on the next one